with Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and in this video, I'm gonna go over how to design a custom printed fabric with artfabrics.com. Designing a custom print with artfabrics.com is super easy and fun, and I can't wait to get started. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you know when all the new videos come out. Also, right now I'm offering virtual sewing lessons so you can choose your project and I will help you from my design studio to your sewing room. And I'm also teaching socially distant sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago. Information for all of that is going to be down below. One of the coolest things about designing your own fabric is that it gives you complete creative control as to what your fabric is going to look like. You know, sometimes you're in the fabric store and you're like, I love that print, but I wish it didn't have that flower in it. Or I wish that flower was yellow and not red. Well, with designing your own fabrics, that flower can be any color you want. You can add any design elements to your design because it's yours and it's unique to you. So because of this, I love designing my own prints and I often design my own prints and put them in my collections that I design as well. Your creative potential is endless when you can design your own fabric. So follow along with me and I'm gonna show you how to design your own fabric and order it from artfabrics.com. So I'm ready to start designing my fabric. So I went ahead and I ordered a fabric sample kit from the website and it has all these beautiful fabrics in it that I'm gonna show you. One of the things I really love about this company is that they print on a wide range of fabrics. They even print on silk charmeuse, which I'm so excited about. Your fabric samples are gonna come in a little binder like this. So let's go through it and check it out. So let's go ahead and open up our fabric binder. So you'll notice they describe all the fabrics and then you're gonna have all these fabric samples in the middle and they match the fabrics, the actual prints. So this one's the scuba double knit and then it's just gonna go down in line. The performance spandex, the pebble canvas, the organic cotton quilting, the cotton gauze and so on. You've probably noticed these bright, beautiful, vibrant colors on these fabrics, and it's because they use reactive printing. It's an awesome process, and if you wanna know more about it, you can check out the link down below about reactive printing. Look at all of these beautiful, vibrant fabrics on all different types of fibers. So we've got polys, we have cottons, we have silks, and the colors are stunning. There are so many amazing fabrics to choose from, no matter what kind of items you like to design. It could be pillowcases, it could be bags, it could be beautiful silk dresses, literally anything that you can think of to design, they have a fabric for it. So I went through the pack of fabrics and I've picked out five qualities that I'm looking at for my design. So the first one is the velvet teen. The second one is a silk charmeuse. The third one is a silk chiffon. The fourth one is a heavy satin and polyester. And the fifth one is a silk twill. Gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is sit down, I'm gonna do some sketching, come up with exactly what I want to design, and then I'll go ahead and select the fabric that's appropriate for it. So I came up with some sketches, and they're so beautiful and elegant, and they were inspired by the 1930s. Two features that I would love to incorporate into a dress are giant, big, poofy, gathered sleeves and a bias cut skirt. So this one has giant gathered sleeves, a little gather at the bust, and then it has a fitted skirt on the bias with a flounce and a giant flowing circle hem with bows. The next one over here has a double layer of gathered ruffles, and then it has some nice bias cut lines in the bodice, along with the giant flounce and a bias cut bottom. The third one over here has a gathered puff, almost like a bubble skirt sleeve with a small gather empire and a bias cut skirt on it. Now that I have my design narrowed down, we know I'm doing a bias cut dress with a fabulous sleeve. 
Silk Charmeuse is so elegant, so I'm definitely gonna be ordering Silk Charmeuse. So now it's time to sit down and design the perfect print for this dress. So I've chosen my sketch and I know exactly what I want to design. I'm so excited to be making a bias cut dress with some fabulous sleeves on it. I have my color palette all picked out and now I'm ready to sit down at the computer and go to artfabrics.com and start designing the print right on the website. They have a great tool on there that makes it super simple. So let's get started. So when you're on the front of the website, you just wanna click on start designing. And then this whole screen is gonna pop up and you can start designing your fabric right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change my tile size to three by three because I don't want a ginormous print. So you can choose any size you want your print to be, which is pretty awesome. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my image to it. So I picked out a flower, so I'm gonna go to images. I'm going to go to my library. I've already got my floral in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose my floral. And now what I wanna do is pull this white circle and make sure that my flower fits in this square. So you can choose the size, you can rotate it, you can make it look however you want. So I just wanna make sure that it's gonna fit inside of the square. Perfect. And if you want to get rid of this semi-opaque background, you can go ahead and click this square right here, and now you can see your whole design. And if you wanna zoom out, go ahead and just select the negative magnifying glass and zoom out. So you can see right now, basically, we have a flower all over our fabric. And if you go ahead, hit the preview button, and you can see what it's gonna look like. Keep in mind the scale on this and that there is a ruler at the bottom and the side of your screen. So we're gonna exit the preview. And now what I want to do is go ahead and add some lines to this because I'm gonna make a plaid with a few little polka dots in it. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to shapes and we're gonna go to rectangle. And now what I wanna do is go ahead and pick my width and my height for the rectangle. Okay, so you can also take these buttons here for height and width and you can adjust the height and the width of your rectangle. So you can choose how wide you want your plaid. So I want these two plaid lines to connect and meet, so I need to make sure when I select the height that they're going to meet each other. So I also want to take my plaid line and I want to move it over. Okay, so we have one plaid line there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do another plaid line and I want the exact same thing for this. So to make it real easy, I can go ahead and just copy the width and the height. Okay, so we have our second stripe up, and now what we wanna do is make sure it's pink as well. So click on the color block here, and then copy and paste that hex code. So come over here, drop that down, click on the gray, and let's put the new hex code in there. And now the other stripe is pink too. All we need to do is move this other stripe over a little bit. It'll be approximately there. And now what we wanna do is add another rectangle. This time this rectangle is gonna be a little wider. Okay, so now I want this thicker line to be right in the center of that grid, that line that's right here. So now we've got the green line here, and now I can go ahead and I can even out my pink lines. Now we can go ahead and put the pink lines going the opposite direction as well. So basically we need to recreate these two, but going the opposite way horizontally. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. Now we need to take this green color, we need to change it. You know, I'm not feeling that green color. Okay, loving that green color. It goes with the pattern here much nicer. So we're looking pretty good. We need to add another green stripe going vertical now. So let's go ahead and copy the width and the height, but let's reverse them. Okay, so now we can see we actually are gonna have to move over these pink lines a little bit. 
Not our flower though, leave our flower there. So you wanna make sure your pattern is looking symmetrical. Well, for this case we do at least because we're creating a plaid. Make sure you're following the grid that's here. So this grid you can make disappear if it's in your way. You're just gonna go ahead and click that grid button on the upper right hand corner. So now we can see it without that grid, it looks great. But if we wanna double check and see if everything's symmetrical, we can go ahead and have that grid on the screen. That's gonna help us design our print and this is gonna be really important when we're cutting out our fabric to make sure things are on the grain line. So make sure all of your prints are where you want them to be. So also take into consideration your pattern. Okay, so we are looking pretty good here. I'm loving this. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna add a little polka dot in there just to add one more little element. So I'm gonna go over to shapes. I'm gonna click on the circle. A giant circle pops up, but we want to change that. I also want to change the color of it. So I want that polka dot to be yellow. I also want to change the radius of this. So now we have a little yellow dot on the corner where all the little plaids meet. You know, I'm looking at my pattern and I think I want those green stripes to be a darker pink actually. So let's go back to those thick stripes and let's make them dark pink. Let's change up the design a little. That's the fun part with designing your own print is you can look at it and be like, you know what? I think I wanna change this element in it and you can do it right on the spot. You don't have to worry about talking to another designer or for fabric books to come. It's just right here on your screen. You get to design it yourself, so cool. So let's go ahead and make this one a dark pink. Okay, loving the dark pink way better. So let's go ahead and take the other green stripe and let's make that one dark pink too. So the print is coming to life. I'm loving this. But I do want a little bit of green in there, just not in the green stripe. So I think I'm gonna add a few green polka dots. So let's go ahead to shape, let's click on circle, and let's get a green polka dot in here. Okay, so now we have a cute little green dot in there, and I wanna add one more green dot. Okay, so now I have the two green dots, I have the one yellow dot, I have four light pink stripes, and I have two darker pink stripes, and we've created a floral plaid polka dot. What? Who thought you could put all those elements together and make them look cool? I did. So I wanna see what my final print looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of the grid, so that line is out of there. And I'm also gonna select the preview. And now it's showing me what my print is gonna look like. So it's gonna look really small because the image is only this big, but our fabric's gonna print this big, right? So keep that in mind and make sure you're watching the ruler at the bottom of your screen so that way you know how big your print is going to print. So I'm gonna exit the preview. I really like where my print's at. I'm ready to order it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. I'm gonna go ahead and name my print Plaid Floral. I'm gonna confirm it, and I'm gonna order it now. And right here on the left, you can choose what fabric you want. And so I chose the Silk Charmeuse. I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna order six yards of this, or should I order eight? Let's order eight yards and then just add it to your cart. So once you put your order in your order basket, all you need to do is check out and then the fabric is gonna show up on your doorstep. So cool. And how easy is the process of designing your own print? What did that take me? Maybe 10 minutes? I'm gonna go ahead and hit order and then all we need to do is wait for the fabric to show up and we can get creative. Today is the day the fabric has arrived. Check out this beautiful silk charmeuse. I cannot wait to get that dress sewn up because this fabric is stunning. These colors are so vibrant and they were even nice enough to send me some footage of the fabric being printed. They use this really cool process called reactive printing. So when that ink goes on, it's not just sitting on top of the fabric, it's actually going into the fibers and it's bonding to all the little fibers 
So that way, when you wear it and wash it, it's not gonna lose its intensity. It is forever bonded to the fibers. It even gets washed three times. It gets steamed and it gets dried. So you know this ink is going nowhere. Now that we have our eight yards of beautiful silk charmeuse, it's time to make our dress. But I'm not gonna be making it in this video. I'm gonna have another video with a full tutorial on how to make the dress with me. So now that you know how to design fabric and get it printed, go on over to artfabrics.com and design your own fabric and have it printed and then you can sew a dress with me. And how fun is that? I can't wait for everybody to be in one of a kind custom made clothing in a custom made print. What? Mind blown. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. Do you have any questions on how to design your own custom made print and have it printed with artfabrics.com? Leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. As always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sew Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska and I would love to see your custom printed projects. So make sure you DM me photos so I can repost them and share them with everybody. I love sharing the creativity. Also, don't forget, I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons. So you can choose your project, book your time with me, and I can help you with your project from my design studio to your sewing room. I'm also teaching in-person sewing classes, so if you're in Chicago, make sure you sign up for one. Information for all of that is gonna be down below, or you can just visit sewanastasia.com. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, we're on our way to getting 100,000 subscribers and I need your love and support. So make sure you share this video with all your friends and family and let's keep everybody creative and sewing. Thanks so much for watching, bye.